Welcome to a tutorial on how to graph the sequence on the TA-89 graphing calculator. The first step is to change the mode to sequence mode. To do this, we press the mode key. Notice right now we're in function mode, so we'll press the right arrow. Notice number four is sequence, so we'll press four and then enter. And now we're in sequence mode. Next, we enter the formula that generates the terms in the sequence. So we'll first graph a sub n. So if we press y equals by pressing diamond f1, we need to enter in 1 half n plus 1 here. So let's go ahead and clear this, and we'll enter 1 divided by 2. n is alpha 6, and then plus 1, enter. We won't use this row here unless we have a recursive formula, which we don't have. Before we graph, though, we do want to adjust the window. So let's go ahead and press diamond F2 for the window. The N minimum is 1, which is fine. The N max is 10, which means for these settings, we'll graph the first 10 terms, which again is fine. We'll leave the plot start and plot step at 1. And now let's go down to X min and X max. Right now, the horizontal axis will go from negative 2 to 12, which is fine. And the step is 1, which is also fine. Now the y min and y max right now are negative 20 and positive 10. Well, notice how none of the terms will be negative. So let's change the y min to let's say negative two, enter. The maximum value for n is 10. Notice when n is 10, a sub 10 is gonna be six. Let's change the y max to eight, enter. We'll leave the y scale at one. And now let's graph the sequence by pressing diamond F3. And here's a graph of the given sequence. From here, if we press F3 for trace, notice here it's telling us the value of n is one as well as x, and over here, this would be the term in the sequence. 1.5 is the first term in the sequence. If we press the right arrow, we can scroll along the points on the graph and see the terms of the sequence here at the bottom. So here are the first 10 terms of the given sequence. And now it's graph B sub n, so we'll press diamond, F1. Let's go ahead and press up and then clear. Now we'll enter the new formula, which is 10 times 1 half raised to the power of n. So we'll have 1 half in parentheses raised to the power of n. Again, n is alpha 6. Enter. I think for this sequence, the same window will be fine if we want to see the first 10 terms of B sub n. So we'll press diamond F3. If we press F3 for trace, we can see the terms in the sequence here all the way out to the 10th term. Notice how these terms approach zero. Let's look at one last example. So diamond F1, up, clear, and now we'll enter the new formula, which is 64 times negative 1 fourth raised to the power of n, enter. Notice here the terms are going to alternate sign so we will have to adjust the window to get a nice view of this graph. Notice when n is 1, c sub 1 is equal to 64 times negative 1 fourth to the first, which would be negative 16. So let's go to the window by pressing diamond F2. Let's go down to the y minimum and change that to, let's say, negative 18. Enter. When n is 2, c sub 2 is equal to 64 times the square of negative one fourth, which would be 64 times 1 16th, which equals positive four. So having the y max at eight will work fine. Let's change the y scale to two though. Enter. Now let's graph the sequence. Diamond F3. And here are the terms of the sequence. If we press trace, which is F3. We can view the first 10 terms of the sequence by pressing the right arrow. Again, notice how the terms are approaching zero. They do alternate, but they also approach zero. I hope you found this helpful.